Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. It is the last, last moments before the fall ends. So uh, everybody pretty well has gone to bed. I think my wife is still working. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she doesn't seem pleased. I think she just crossed her arms. Hang on, let's go and say hi to her. Just, you know. Hi, dear, how's it going? Okay. <laughs> she doesn't seem happy. Doesn't seem happy at all. All right, well, that's cool. That's fine. Uh, we, we're, we're okay with that. Wait a minute. Why? You, hey, Alruna. Are you hanging outside my house? What's going on? All right, so it looks like Radost has gone to bed. Oh, I did a bunch of cooking uh, to... Uh, yeah, we ran out of the cooked food, so I did a bunch of that. It, it's all good. Uh, the one thing I will do, though, is I'm going to put my fur... fur hood and fur stuff on my fur clothes and let's see what we got here oh um i was asked about uh these these stats right here i think they they're they appear to be new and i think they're the um well let's take a closer look at something so if we were to take a look at our clothing items so the the quaff right uh it actually tells you how much heat and cold protection it gives you and it's plus 10 percent heat protection plus 5% cold protection. And right now we're at, for heat, 25, and for cold, 20. Now, if I take this quaff off, yeah, that's that makes sense, quaff off, <laughs> um, then essentially this should go down to uh, 15, and this should also go down to 15. So let's see what happens if I take that off. Yep, there you go. So uh, this these new values, these are a an, they're a, an accumulation of the effects of all of your different clothing items uh, and how much protection they give you from heat and cold. The reason why I'm bringing it up now is A, because uh, I, I actually looked into it because I was like, oh, I don't even know how that works. <laughs> so I didn't know these were here and I thought, oh, that's very cool. Um, and B, uh, I need to switch over to my fur stuff. So we're gonna, let's see what happens. Whomp. So we reduced, we lost some uh, heat protection, but we gained a lot of cold protection. And then I put the fur hood on and it's even worse. So my heat protection went down to minus 10%, but look at that, we're doing really good with cold. So that's kind of cool. I, I like that. That's actually really neat. Um, let's put the uh, our shoes away. There we go. And is my wife back yet? No. All right, well, I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to wait. Uh, and we'll see if anything interesting happens at the next season change. Because we're going into winter. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, hello. Hello, dark. Oh, hey. Hello, family. <laughs> Out they go. Oh, that's it. I, I always enjoy this part. Wham. Boof, 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 boof. <laughs> he's, he's very powerful, my son. All right. So we're good on that front. Look at that. It's a beautiful winter day. Oh, it looks, it's always so bright in winter. Uh, all right. So what is the plan? Um, we're all uh, equipped for winter and all of that sort of stuff. So we don't have to worry about that. Uh, as far as planting is concerned. Well, actually, you know what? We need to do uh, building repairs, but we'll, we'll get to that. In a, get to that in a second. But um, if I remember correctly, let's take a look at the fields first, because uh, fields are always a going concern. In winter, the only thing we do is plant carrots. Uh, and let's see, do I have, oh, there's the carrots right there. So we have uh, just these carrots here. So it's what, four by one, two, three, four, five, six. Is it six? Yeah, four by six, 24. So we need to make sure we have 24 carrot seeds. I'm pretty sure that we're going to. Uh, I'm not really too worried about my carrot supply because we've got a lot of them. Uh, yeah, but uh, we have enough. We have 107 carrot seeds. So I just wanted to make sure that that was a good situation. The other thing is, of course, we have to make sure we have enough fertilizer. Do, 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 do. And yeah, we've got, I think we've got barely enough. For, no, I'm kidding. We've got plenty of fertilizer. And look at all the firewood we have. What about logs? 152. It is going up. So that's what I want to see. Planks are going up too. That's actually really nice. I appreciate that. Uh, oh, actually, before we do anything, uh, let's take a look. What am I? My weight's at 20. What do I, oh, I've got all this stuff on me. Oh, I, and I got some tips on the poppies. We'll, we'll get into that. We'll take a look at it. Uh, now, uh, there's a few things about poppies, and we're, we're going to take a look. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a bag. Oh, is it a tool? Yeah, it's a tool. 
Uh, that's important for the poppy. It, you'll see in a second why I'm grabbing the bag. Uh, and the other thing is we need to do some repairs. Uh, so let's grab some materials. Uh, I'm going to start at the bottom. We're going to grab some sticks because we always seem to need them. Although maybe not always. Maybe, well, I don't know. We'll find out. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Uh, we'll grab some stones. We'll grab some straw. Uh, we'll grab some planks. I usually don't need more than six. Grab some logs. It's This is, you know, it's always this way. There we go. Oh, we're overburdened. It's probably the logs. Let's grab, let's put, uh, there we go. We're just under. All right. I think that's good. Uh, and let's take a look at the situation in management buildings. And we'll see that we've got three damaged houses and they are all in my village. I'm looking at where the little icon shows up. I'm what I'm worried about is eventually my, I've got a little, um, up here, I have a little outpost. I have my, uh, my mining family and, uh, they have some buildings out there. So I'm always worried that maybe one of those is going to go and I have to, I'm going to have to keep an eye on that so I know to ride up there and fix their houses and stuff. So we've got three houses. We've got, uh, let's see the excavation set. It's always damaged that excavation shed. It's amazing. Uh, crops. Oh, the barn is damaged. Okay. And also the, oh, the workshop doesn't have a, yeah, yeah, that's fine. And then storage. We have an issue with resource storage too. One of them. And it's our local one. So that's, that's fine too. We'll deal with that. All right. Well, um, you know, I'm probably never going to remember all that, but that's okay. Let's do, uh, repairs. Ah, there you go. This is, there's the logs. Okay. Oh, and planks. Oh, am I going to need more? I might need more. We'll find out. We'll find out. Uh, none of these guys. I know. Oh, the barn. Yeah, let's go and deal, take care of the barn. Oh, I can see it right there. Looks like the straw roof is kind of borked. Um, I am going to replace this barn with a level three barn at some point. I'm not sure when that's going to be, but it is in. It is a, a part of the plan. Okay, that one's done. Uh, let's get some of the houses. Oh, and the extraction shed. Uh, no. What's it called? I can never remember. I can never remember what that bloody thing is called. Uh, excavation shed. I always call it the extraction shed. It's, oh, sorry. Excuse me. Pardon me. Okay. Yep. Oh, hi, honey. Yep. Sorry. Oh, and I've got materials here. Oh, boards. Yes, yes, that is also something that I need to get done. I want to re replace this roof. And we're going to take care of that. Uh, but first, let's make sure that none of the backsides of any of these are damaged. And I have to do the, 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 the traps. I've been really sort of slack on those things. I haven't done near as much work with them as I should. Okay. I know it's very exhausting doing maintenance work. He's panting. Okay, we've got just enough planks for you. Any other damage? Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, this one here. Yeah, we're going to need more planks. I kind of thought that might be the case. And more planks here. Okay, so those two houses need planks. That's fine. We'll, we'll take care of it. I'm actually going to need even more planks because... You know what? Let's just do this. Let's grab... Oh. I don't think we need anything else. Let's dump all the other stuff. Uh, we can dump the, uh, sticks, the stones, and the straw. There we go. Now, well, we're not quite zippy, but I'm going to go and man- I- I know! I'm going to go and, um, convert the, uh, these into planks. I'm going to need a whole bunch of planks anyways, so might as well just do it now. Might as well. Okay. Planks, not firewood. Not like I accidentally did last time. Oh, boy. Uh, right. So, what, there was a, there's a, there's a few things that I was, uh, the, oh, 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 I, okay, at a certain point this winter, we're going to have to go out to Denica. Uh, I did add beets to the fields, and someone said, you know, you should check and see if you've got any beet seed, and I went, yeah. So I did look, and I definitely don't have beet seed. Well, actually, I don't think I have beet seed. I didn't find any. It could be that I've stashed them away somewhere. 
but I doubt it. <laughs> I probably didn't even bother to buy them. Uh, so we are going to have to go on a little trip up to Denica and uh, pick up some beet seed. That's okay. It's a new season, uh, which means that we're going. We have um, the 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 the, uh, the townsfolk, the the uh, merchants. The merchants will have more money, so we can all we can use it as an opportunity to go and. Well, the word fleece is not exactly a uh, a good word, but we could go out and um, rob them. Bl no, that's bad too. Um, do some commerce. That's it. You just whip that hammer out. Did you? It, you're supposed to be repairing. Okay. Oh, two sides. Oh. All right. Let's get you. Oh nope, not too much. Okay, there we go. And then we'll get you. Now it was that one, and then this one down here. I'm gonna let's fix this one up. And then we'll do another quick little review in the management interface and see if there's any more broken stuff. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the only thing is crafting, and it's it's basically telling me that I don't have somebody working in the workshop, which I already know. So that's cool. Uh, that's also something that I want to do. There's, oh, man, there's always so many things that, that need to be done. Hi, licorice. Hello, applesauce. You guys are on. Whoa, look at you. Man. Magnificent horns and everything. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and I'm going to add these to the to the plank pile. And you know what? We could probably just do this right now. How many planks do I have on? How many? What have I got? I've got 35 planks. Okay. Now, the big question. Ah, I. You know what? I found a purpose for all these guys hanging out or this young lady hanging out in front of the houses. Then, see, this is Gwenefa. No, put the hammer away. Okay. She's just threatening small children. Um, uh, this is Gwenefa. So n we know that Gwenefa lives here. So that's super helpful because then if I want to find out whose house this is, all I have to do is I go down to, uh, I go to, down to Gwenefa. There she is right there. And this is, uh, Shea Boy and Nita Mira's, uh, house. Ah, pretty cool, right? So what I can do is I can take Nita Mira and I can assign her to one of the other empty house. The, we have an empty house that's sort of standing by for people to, to occupy. So uh, what we could do is, well, um, yeah, let's just do that. So if we go into the empty ho the houses, we'll see that one of them is zero out of three. And it's, oh, it looks like it's like right next door. Okay. Is this house, it's a small house. Is it, That one's not empty. Jeez, it must be one of these two here. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. We can, you know, we can work on that. So what we do is we go here. We go uh, and we assign uh, Nita Mira. No, 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 no. Nita Mira, right? Uh, and then there we go. And now that whole family has been assigned to that house. And this house is a simple small house. Oh, simple small house. Oh. I wonder if that's why Nita Mirrors only had one kid, because I wonder if it automatically limits if the game is smart enough to know that there's only three beds, so it only will let the, them have one child. Hmm. That's an interesting thought. That's... I'm not, I'm not sure. So we know that this house is now uh, unoccupied, so we can uh, basically tear down... Uh, we can tear down the roof. Uh, bunka, bunka, bunka. And bunka, bunka, ah, ha, ha. and then we can go with uh, building. And oh, it's been a while since I've done this. Now we're gonna go straight to wooden tile roof. It's the nicest roof. There we go. And oh, I'm gonna need a log. Oh, there's a. We've got a pile of logs out there too. So I can actually now apply the planks that I have on me. There we go. Oh, and I have a, a, a log, so we can put that log in there, too. I'm going I'm to need three more logs. And it looks like I am going to need more planks. But that's okay. Let's use up what we've got on us. And then we'll go and pick up the ones that I left out here. Uh, these ones here. There's like five, six. Yeah, there's only... Yeah, there's not many. We're probably going to have to go get more. And this is 39 logs. Holy crap. Okay, I can't move. That's a lot of logs. Uh, all right. That's cool. Let's drop some. Uh, let's see. X. And then we're going to drop uh, most of them. Actually, we could just drop a few. No, we'll drop that many. 
Good enough. Let's do it from inside. Okay, bunka. Ha ha! Nice. And then we can... Yeah, we're going to need more planks. Okay, more planks. But in the meantime, what we could do is... Uh, see, can we, oh. Oh. Well. All right. I mean, this is kind of painful. Let's put that away. But, oh man, this is super painful. Okay, you know what? I, I can't do this. This is, no. Let's uh, drop half of them. Something like that. There we go. Now we can run. Ha ha. And that's about 19 logs, so that's, that's an, I mean, I'll be able to pick that up and carry it. All right. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, well, you know what I could do? I could convert these logs into planks. <laughs> okay. I thought I thought the, the the goose was giving me a hard time. It's just the gander. He he's kind of, you know, I stuck up for him, right? Like, um, all all the all the lady geese were were um like he was okay. There were no goslings. And he, his performance was being challenged. And all, all the ladies were, like, being really mean to him and everything. And I defended him. I defended him. And and ever since, he's been kind of like my biggest sort of fan. He's he's kind of, you know, he, he he tries to throw me little um, goose encouragement every once in a while. And uh, so I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Unlike that... And unlike that lady goose, the one, just the one, it's not like they're all the rest of them are fine. It's just there's one, there's one, and she she likes to hold my feet to the fire. I don't know what it is, but it's it's like I've offended her somehow. Maybe she's just mad because I took the gander side. I don't know. It's possible. Now she's got you know kind of a grudge. I kind of get it. I mean, it's you know goose politics. What are you gonna do? All right. <laughs> it's like dodging animals. Wow. All right. And we're going to do some building. Okay. I think we're pretty well down to just uh, a few more planks. And there we go. So we have the we have this house now nicely done. Uh we're going to have to wait to see where Gwenefa pops up next time to figure out where the uh where the other house is. I suspect it's this. No, it's not. Oops. Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> oh, it might be this one. It might be this one. This one might be empty. It might be. You know, um, it, what would be really nice is, oh, there's a lot of things in this game that I would love. And one of them would be if it would be really nice if this, if like when you walked up to a house, if it gave you like that little pop-up, simple, small house, upgraded stone wall. But it also gave you a list of who's assigned to that house. Like, I mean, signs would be nice too, right? But if if you just walked up to the house and you could see whose it was, ah, wouldn't that be cool? I think that would be, and I, that should be relatively uh, simple to implement too, now that I think about it. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, yeah. Here, uh, so that was sweaty work. We're just going to wash up in this frozen wash tub of water. Okay. Okay, all right. Now, uh, one thing I forgot to do. Oh, I... Oh, no, no. I. That's right. I, I had assigned... Uh, I had assigned somebody to do um, farm work, or uh, field work. So he's working on it. This is, yeah, Osmond. That's right. He, Osmond's doing his thing. He's... He's uh, taking care of business. So this, it's all the, this is the carrots. All right. I, I trust him. I trust Osmond. Oh, I did fix, by the way, a bunch of people pointed out that I'd sort of messed up a little bit. Um, I had, I wanted to do more onions. Then uh, I think I'd converted this row, this column here into beets. But in reality, it's, yeah, I wanted a few beets, slightly, and then more onions, more carrots. So four, four and four each of carrots, onions, and cabbages, and then beets, beets reduced down to three. I if I'm gonna give up anything, it'll be beets. I know that's the uh, the beet mafia uh, disagrees with me on that one and will call me out, but <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> There's beet proponents. There's like people that are pro beet, and <laughs> it's funny. All right. Oh, poppies. What am I doing? We were already over there. I don't want to hear it. 
you guys just mind your own business. So I'm just going to be over here. Poppies, poppies, poppies. I got a, I got a, an awesome tip. The poppies are processed at the workbench. Ex excuse me, Dargarad. I need to use this. Look at that right there. So we can process poppies and get poppy seed. And uh, and then once we get this done, we don't actually need to do this first. We could do something. There's another thing I want to do. We could have done it at any time, but let's just let's just get. We're already here. Let's we're doing this. Let's just get this out of the way. Uh, and I I learned when poppy seed is well. Somebody said in the comments, but I actually did. I actually figured it out a different way as well. One of the ways that I determine or that I like to use for trying to figure out. Um, what you can plant when is if you uh, open up, oh, you can, you've got your orchard and your field, right? What's under orchard? We've got hops, apple, pear, plum, and cherry. Okay, so fruits basically, except for hops. Is a hop a fruit? I don't know. It's used for making beer. <laughs> Uh, so in, in your bag, you can have all the different, you can have fertilizer and all the different um, uh, regular crop seeds. And of course, there's poppy seeds have been added. It says this this cannot be planted this season. But, okay, that was kind of a bad example. But if I go to a black background and not a white background, and if we go to is it five? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're already we're already there. I'll say um, no. Wait a minute. Oh, I unequipped it. There we go. Uh, and then if you go down here, it says below, crafting resource. It can be planted in the spring. It, this, The bag will tell you when stuff can be planted. Now, I have a diagram that tells me as well, but it didn't have poppies on it because it's new. But yeah, planted in the spring, collected in the autumn. So it's one of the, I, I guess it's the same as beets, uh, oats, uh, what else is uh, wheat. If you do wheat in the spring, it also is planted in the fall. You can plant wheat in the fall. And it'll be harvested in the summer, but there's another, you can also, there's two windows for wheat. Um, but the the others that are too, like spring to fall are beets and oats. So, there we go. So what we'll do is we'll plant some poppies. We've got just, you know, 26 seeds. We'll, we'll, we'll do some poppy, poppy planting. Uh, in fact, uh... Yeah, you know what we could do? We could figure out where we want to put the... Uh, we could set aside the a field. Um, we could grow the poppies, you know, somewhere in, in, in here. Somewhere around the... It's 26, right? 20... Uh, yeah, it was 26. 26 is an odd number. I'd probably go with 24. Uh, not here. Not here. Hmm... I might just have to do it over the other side. Uh, I mean, we could plant them up here, but no, I don't. You know what? We could plant them up here. Yeah. Let's see. If we go due south, so they're going to go this way. You know what? Let's let's plant them up here. I don't know why. Why do we want to plant them up here? Because. I, I have no clue why. I would. <laughs> it just makes sense to me. And we'll just do them from like uh, right here, and uh, we want uh, probably 24. What is uh, obstacles? Really? What's the obstacle? <gasps> tree. Oh, yeah, it's tree. Oh no, there's an obstacle there. What's the obstacle there? It's too close to that tree. I guess it is. See that one's good, and it's only three by four. That's 12. I need more than that. Okay, so uh, let's do from let's do from let's do from here, and can, what, what we can what can we do? There we go. Oh, that's a little. Oh no, that tree's still in the way. Yeah, this is just. I know. I'm planting up in the forest. It's it's a it's kind of doomed. Uh, oh, we could plant over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do it here. Uh, now, why do why am I planting them in the forest? Because like any... Okay, so here's the thing. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> uh, anybody that... Okay, there's a few places in the world where um, uh, certain... How should I say this? What's uh, Certain crops get planted. 
cer certain crops. Now, these crops, uh, 4 by 6, that's 24. That's what we want is 24. We do 4 by 7 is 28. I don't have... I have 26. I don't have 28. Okay. So we're going to do 4 by 6. There we go. There we go. There, This is it. So in certain places of the world, in certain regions, there are certain crops that are planted by certain individuals in places that are certainly difficult to find. There are multiple reasons why said crops might be planted in places like in amongst forests and trees and all of that sort of thing. Typically, these crops are hunted by certain people wearing certain types of paraphernalia, referred to as a badge, that will try to find said foresty crops. <laughs> and I would classify that poppies are one of those certain crops. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Poppies aren't. But <laughs> I just thought it was funny because... Uh, I, I, I live in an area where there was, well, not so much anymore, but years years ago. Uh, oh, I, I should put the seeds away. What am I doing? Let's, no, not in here. Let's go over here. Uh, where, where some some crops <laughs> that shall go nameless were uh, traditionally planted sort of out in the bush. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, let's grab apple. We're going to try something here. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna grab some cherries. Is there any other fruits? Did we did we buy any other fruits? I don't remember if we did. Plums, plums, yeah, yeah. There we go. So, anyways, and I just thought it was amusing that we were gonna do. We're, we're doing basically um, like a gr not a grow up, but uh, something sort of conceptually similar <laughs> out in the bush. So that's, there you go. That's my illicit hidden uh, poppy field. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I'm, I'm glad that you guys are all amused by that. <laughs> the, the farm animals love it. They're like, oh, oh, oh that's very funny. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, let's put uh, some back. No, that's still too much, is it? Okay, we'll put a little more back. I'm getting clay again because I, uh, I, I, the, uh, excavation shed, that, I got the name of it correctly. You know what? I'm tired of fiddling with that. Let's just go. Uh, the excavation shed, uh, I did, uh, I know, I agree. Um, I did set it up to do some clay work. And because now all of a sudden, like, clay used to only be useful for daub. And, uh, I didn't really need daub anymore. So I just sort of turned it off. I've turned it back on again. Now, can we do anything with the pottery wheel? All right, let's take a look. So, uh, okay, it's 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 we're not limited by experience. We're limited by by the um, uh, by by our the fact that it's not uh, unlocked. So that's cool. That's what I wanted to double check. Hey, how you doing, Odin? Yeah, good. Okay, cool. Don't go out back over there. You don't need to know about the special plants. All right curiosity oh hey hello honey are you cooking oh thank you um what we're here for is the uh the juice press and to see that it uses uh wine bottles so the juice press uses wine bottles for everything the wine barrel uses juices okay so these are the new things and then over here we've got the the, the cauldron the brewing cauldron and it uses beer bottles, oat grains, and buckets of water. Uh, okay. Oat. Yeah, see, I don't want to use oats and rye because I use it for animal feed. Wheat beer, on the other hand, I could get behind that. So we need beer bottles. We need beer bottles. Wheat grain, we've got. We've got wheat grain. Um, buckets of water. Hop. Yeah, I've got a bucket of water and everything. We've got some hops. And a mead bottle. We need honey, though, for that. We don't have an apiary, so that's fine. So I'm going to make, um, you know, uh, one or two beer bottles and then some wine bottles. I've got clay in, I've got clay in my pocket. And it's, uh, it, it's, it's, uh, it's dying to be turned into a bottle. Okay. I know. I agree. Everybody's excited about this. Let's see. Wine bottle. Okay. So we're going to purchase this. And then there's also the uh, beer bottle. We're going to purchase that. 
Let's make, how many can we make? We can make 13. And we're gonna make a couple. We're just gonna make, oh ho! <laughs> Look at that. I am I am turning stuff on a thing. Oh, that's so cool. Nice. All right, so we've got that. Now, wine bottles. Uh, no, I didn't want to do that here. Actually, let's do that. I wanted to do nine. Let's do nine. We'll, we'll max it out. Um, beer is very specific, whereas wine you can is used for, like, any fruit juice. So, you know, I think the demand for wine bottles is probably higher than the demand for uh, beer bottles, at least in my current state. Oh, wait a minute. Don't I, wouldn't I need hops? Oh, I think I better go take a look at that again. Uh, oat beer. No, that was oat beer. But still, beer needs hops, doesn't it? Hmm. We're, we'll take another look. We'll take another look. I don't remember. Wow, this is... Uh, these things are not quick to make. And I, and I can't help but notice that um, no matter what it is that I'm making, they all look like... Um, well, let's just say that it's, uh, it's a nice bowl. <laughs> it's a lovely bowl, dear. Thank you very much. <laughs> You know, when you make stuff for your parents in school, you know. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, <laughs> it's the thought that counts. <laughs> Actually, no. Sometimes it looks, stuff looks pretty good. <laughs> All right. There we go. There we go. We've done some pottery work. And we could do some uh, basket weaving and stuff like that or making wheels and stuff. But, eh. And then we could put things in a box. Yeah, let's not worry about that. Let's he head on over to the thingamabobber and let's... Oh, hey, Norberta. Are you making wine? <laughs> She's like, how do you think I'm going to get through this marriage, dear? <laughs> I'm sorry I asked. Uh, now, <laughs> wheat beer. Yeah, it's beer, wheat. Oh, oh, I bought hops. That's right, I bought hops. I, I, I forgot. Okay, let's buy that. Now, I'm going to need uh, wheat grain in order to do that. So we'll we'll hold on to that for a minute. But in the meantime, we're going to press some juice. Uh, and I have... Let's take a look. Oh, we can do berries. <gasps> do I have berries? I've got a gatherer now. Oh, I can set the gatherer up. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. What am I doing? I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off. I've got, like, um, food things right here. Why am I running around... Uh, I think we... Didn't we get rid of our berries or they got converted to rot? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll have to pick some berries and make some berry juice. I think that's probably a good idea. Um, all right. So we have currently... We can make some apple juice. So why don't we just... Ah, screw it. Buy all of it. There we go. We've got cash. We're fine. We're doing just fine. Um, not enough resources. Well, we could still... Oh, I, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we could make a couple of apple juices. Oh, squishy, squishy. Look at that. Okay. That was quick. Holy moly. This, this dude's a pro. And we can make a couple of cherry juices. Mm, uh-huh. That's, yeah, well done. Good job. Good job. And that's all we can do. Uh, and the other thing is... My wife is making beer. <laughs> I don't you know what I'm not asking questions let's go get some wheat grain and, and again I ran halfway across the village for no reason do we have wheat grain in here and the answer is no because I keep it over here I keep it at the barn uh, the barn this barn has like 500 kilograms of storage so I've been kind of using it for grains um for the stuff that for holding things that need to be threshed and the results of said threshing um so we have some wheat okay actually let's um let's grab i don't know a couple hundred there we go and oh boy this is gonna take a minute um <clears throat> Yeah, I've been storing it over here because it's convenient. In the evenings, after, like, sometimes I'll stop recording when it gets dark because it's just super annoying. It's it's hard to see, and it's nice to get some of the busy work, the more grindy stuff done overnight. 
things like you know cooking 30 stews right nobody wants to see that um, threshing a bunch of grain although this in this case there's a purpose behind it right but just you know how you've just got like a whole bunch of grain and you just, it just needs to be threshed right so I'll come over here and I'll just grab something out of the bin and um, and then thresh it and then I put the grain back in and etc etc so I, that's what I keep stuff over here for is it just when I have a few spare minutes at night I'll come running over here and I'll just do this it's it's kind of handy um, I think it is you know what I'm gonna only do a hundred I don't even think we need that much but uh, and I'm pretty sure I have wheat grain somewhere I just didn't look closely enough because <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've got wheat grain but we might as well just get this all get this sorted okay Six, nine, seven, nine, eight, eight, nine, a hundred. Nope. One more. I got a hundred. Oh! 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 I got a new farming level. Well, aren't I special? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the uh, the unthreshed wheat in here. We got the grain. Uh, I've got apparently 28 planks on me, which is awesome, by the way. And yeah, I think we're just going to go with that. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. Okay, let's go. I mean, I'm going to drop off some stuff on the way. I think I'll drop off the planks. The uh, straw. A few other of the extra things that I'm carrying around that I don't need. The clay. Oh, not the hops. Not the hops. The uh, planks. Uh, the straw. And I'll keep the rest of this. Okay, let's go. Do hey guys, here. Oh, did you hear that? That's the sound of me being super thirsty. <laughs> Thank you, game, for adding that. <laughs> I'll die if I don't. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Skills. Oh yeah, farming. Uh, one of the things that I did put some stuff in is farmer's trance. I think it says ten percent faster farming activities right i believe that uh, my hope was that that actually has an impact on the speed at which you can thresh things because that's a farming activity and so i put a point into that uh is that a good idea eh, probably maybe maybe not um uh, i don't harvest a lot of crops but maybe i'll throw something in there careful farmer uh slower i don't care about that although uh, I've already got that one. Farming Master, Less Stamina. These are all kind of useful in their own right. I'm not really having a problem with my horse. Well, you know what we could do? We could put it into a Skilled Rider. Why not? I can always change it later, right? All right, let's go back into here. All right. Now, what was I doing? Beer. Very important business. Very important beer business. All right, how much can we make? We can make two bottles of beer. Oh, yeah. That's right. Nice. Oh, that's it? Okay. Oh, uh, okay. That was a little odd, that little after bit there. Let's take a look at what we've got. We have on us... Oh, actually, before we do anything, here, let's take a look. What do we need to make wine? Uh, we need... Oh, I just need to buy them. You know what? Why, why am I worried about this? Let's just do that. We could make apple wine. Make a couple. Apparently, you make wine just by pouring it into a bottle. <laughs> All right. I, that's cool. I'm fine with that. <laughs> and cherry wine. Sweet. Well, I hope it's not too sweet. I do like a uh, nice dry wine. Okay. There we go. And that's as much as we can do. All right. Now, I did blow a bunch of cash on doing all that. I'm down to, like, I had a lot. Now I'm down to sub 10,000. That's fine. We've got, we're, I'm not worried about the money. Plums. Wait a minute. Wasn't, shouldn't I be able to do something with plums? Plums. What do I need? Oh, I need 20. You need a lot more plums to do plum juice. No Slivovitz. Oh, no. Uh, okay, we have wheat beer. 
Each wheat beer is 220 coins. We have uh, cherry wine. Each cherry wine is 250 coins. And then we also have, what do we have? Uh, apple wine is 270. Nice. Uh, and then, yeah, I converted it all. And then we have beer. Where's the oh, wheat beer? Right, 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 right. All right. So this is decision time. Okay. It's very important. We have to decide at this very moment, what path do we want to take in our life here? Do we want to just drink all of these spirits? Let's ask, let's ask uh, Maynard here. Hey, Maynard, Maynard, Maynard. M Maynard? Okay. Hey, Egger, 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 Egger. What do you think, Egger? Should I, should I do it? What, no? As Osmond, I can see right now. Oh, hey, honey, do whatever you want, dear. I'm, I'm making, I'm making more wine. <laughs> All right, that's fine. I can see that I'm getting a lot of support here from my people. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? <clears throat> we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna have a beer. How about that? We'll have a beer. Okay. It, and it looks. See, there's my drunken state. Oh. <clears throat> Oh, it, it gives you a little bit of a some fuzzy vision. I heard. I remember this being in the release notes. Okay, okay. Just because everybody knows that you have to mix your liquors. <laughs> don't do that. No, don't. Okay. Don't listen to me. All right. <laughs> don't. <laughs> um, all right. Let's let's have some cherry. Uh, there we go. We're fifty percent. Uh oh. Uh oh. Things have gotten kind of interesting. Let's see if I can, how, what my walking situation is. You know what we should do? Oh, I'm hiccuping too. Okay, that's cool. Let's go harvest the uh, traps while we're at it. Holding up. This is really cool. I've got a bag of seeds in my hand. Uh, <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm out here after, after um, having some uh, stuff. And I'm harvesting like squished birds. And this is, this is super awesome. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see. <laughs> Am I a little bit better? Oh, I'm. Oh, I'm. It's. I'm down to four percent. Okay. So it's very temporary. The effect. Uh, what I'll do is we'll just leave it at that for this particular moment. And what I'll do is in the future we'll, we'll maybe we'll we'll try doing uh, try going up to a hundred percent and see what that's all about. Um, but for now, um, Rasmir here, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. He doesn't, he doesn't want to, he, he was just testing. He was testing his own product to see if it was okay. Right. You know, you, it's quality control. It's very important, you know? And, uh, yeah. You know what, buddy? Put that bag away. Okay. All right. Let's grab some sticks and rocks because we have to make some traps. We're going to, we're out here. <clears throat> after having a, a couple of some uh, having some wine and we're gonna just come out here in the middle of the night and make make animal traps I think this is nothing nothing possibly could go wrong with this this is perfectly normal and everything's fine it's all good like yeah we're just not worrying about this sort of thing uh, there we go and we're gonna make some bird squishers and we'll put that right there. Uh, traps. There we go. Put that right there. And of course, we have to we have to do something about Unigost. He keeps uh, no 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 no. He keeps coming around, right? So we got to put some traps out for Unigost. There we go. This uh, music is very um, passionate, considering all I'm doing is making some rat traps in the middle of the night while kind of, you know, yeah. Is my wife still in there? Is she giving up? Yeah, she's giving up. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. I'm going to keep the other ones on me. I'm going to put, let me put the, um, the fixins away. I'm going to keep the other stuff on me. We're going to go on a little bit of a road trip and we're going to pick up some 
um, we're going to go and pick up some uh, beets, beetroot. And so what I'll do is I'm going to, for the rest of the night, I'm going to put together here. Let's put, did I, do I have grain in here? Where the heck did I put the wheat grain? It's strange. It's really weird. Unless it got converted to flour. Did it get converted to flour? Oh, I got to be careful with that. Uh, no. Okay. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, the hops we're going to put away, the uh, hop plant seedlings. I might as well put them in here, even though it probably is right there. Yeah. I'm just going to put them in here because they're kind of, you know, um, food adjacent. It's a food, it's a food ingredient kind of. So why not? Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, let me let me put away some materials here, um, and we're we're, we're going to sell some. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do some bootlegging. Uh, oh, oh, these are just yeah. These these are just the empty bottles. Let's put the empty bottles away. Uh, yeah, and there we go. Okay, and then we've got on us. We have some wine, and all of that. So we're gonna we're gonna do some. Oh, and I have to put that stuff away. I'll take care of it. Uh, in the morning, we're gonna head out to Denica, and we're gonna do a bit of commerce. We're gonna we're gonna do a bit of bootlegging up to Denica. They're gonna they're gonna want some of our our fine wines, and uh, it'll be it'll be good. So I'll see you in the uh, in the morning. That's it, licorice. Yes, are you ready to go? I know you're very excited, so am I. All right, it is first thing in the morning. So I have, well, let's take a quick look at what I've got on me. Uh, I have 500 feathers because they're light and easy to pack and whatever. A uh, bunch of linen thread I made overnight. Um, oh, I've got sticks and stones, but that's not the big deal. I also made some shirts and some fancy shoes and we also have, we have, we're, well, and of course, the piece de resistance. Uh, we are, uh, we're, yeah, we're, we're, we're bootlegging. <laughs> we're going to, oh, actually, hang on, let's do this. Uh, we want to go to Denica, so let's do that. All right, off we go. We're going to bootleg to, oh my god, the, the traps are already sprung. Well, we'll deal with them when we get back. <laughs> but uh, Licorice and I are, are um... Well, we're we're going we're going low. Oh, you know what? I should probably uh, I should probably try and play it cool around Unigost, so that uh, he doesn't you know get all suspicious because you know he's the law. So we're gonna we're gonna oh yep we're using an age old strategy. We're going early in the morning when when he's not gonna be able to find us late at night early in the morning. That's right. I know all the tricks. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just <laughs> I'm so yeah. We're we're gonna go out to Denica. We're doing a little bit of um. We're gonna do some wine sales, uh, and some other materials as well. Uh, the real reason we're going out to Denica, of course, is we're going to get beet seeds so that we can plant some beets in the winter, uh, in the spring. I mean, which is uh, well, just around the corner. We've only got what a what a but a just just under two days of in-game time. And then we'll be planting in spring again. So, I know licorice. I, I it was very exciting. Licorice is is uh, looking forward to spring because the winter is just, it's it's cold. You know, and the horses don't have uh, thick furry coats. So, they they yeah. <laughs> licorice is a little bit concerned about the weather at the moment. So, anyways, that's the plan. We're we're headed out to buy some beets, and we're also going to do a, a bit of sales. Uh, I I think it's kind of a good plan. Um, now I guess what we could do is we could think about uh, what we're going to do tomorrow. And hmm. Oh 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 oh. Licorice is getting tired. I, I have to be more diligent. There we go. Hop. <laughs> All right, hi -oh, off we go. Um, for the rest of winter, I'm thinking that we're, we may want to do some building, uh, unless something else comes up, which often does. But we'll do some building. We'll maybe uh, look at doing a barn three or up upgrading the sewing hut, or and maybe do a little review of what it is that we could build. I wouldn't mind making a few more buildings. I think that would be kind of cool. Looks like everybody's awake and they're uh, coming into their businesses and such. Nice. 
All right, we'll just we'll just drop off. Uh... Yeah, there you go. All right, now the first person that we're interested in finding is Matilda. Now Matilda, she loves it when I sell her uh, 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 woven goods because she's a seamstress herself, and she likes it when people sell her other people's products so that she's forced to sell them. I made some fancy. No, actually, I'm going to save the fancy shoes. Uh, I, I made some shirts for her. There you go. Okay. Uh, you'll get a good price for those, Matilda. They were made by a, a real... No, they weren't. Actually, it was made by me. Uh, what else? Well, I could... S oh, feathers. No, you could use... No, you know what? We're going to sell some feathers. You could make some nice down coats. Actually, let's see. Uh, there we go. You were able to buy a few of them. <laughs> okay. And I'll go now. She's like, oh, you're so awesome. Yeah, well, you can use those feathers. You could make somebody a nice uh, down jacket or something like that. Now, who we're looking for is uh, Norbert. Where's Norbert? Oh, no, Dagobear? Dagobear. Dagobear. Not Dagobear. No, Dagobear. Uh, he has beet seeds. So I'm pretty sure I need 18. But I'm going to get just... Just to be thorough, I'm going to get 24, just in case. So there we go. We'll get 24. And he, I know that when he's working out in the fields, he likes to wear his best shoes. So we're going to sell him some nice fancy shoes. And also, I bet you he'd love some feathers too. There you go. Oh, he, <laughs> we clean them out. <laughs> he's like, oh, great. Thanks, man. That's really awesome. Uh, I don't know if there's anybody else in Denica that actually does sales. I think that's it. I think we've exhausted them. Uh, I also made a whole bunch of, um, oh, right, I wanna go here. Arrows, I made some iron arrows. So we're back up to 11,600 uh, and some odd coins. So uh, it is spring soon, which means that uh, it will be, oh, before we do anything, management, fields, beats, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, eighteen. Good. So we've got more than enough uh, beet seeds. So, yep. I think our work here is done. I think our work here is done. We could swing through. Uh, we'll we'll swing through uh, Gusto Gustovia on the way back. And uh, actually, here, let's do this. There we go. Put our marker up. Uh, we'll swing through Gust Gustovia on the way back. And uh, we'll do some more. Uh, oh! Oh, you know what would be? Oh, I. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're doing it. We're doing this. We're doing this. I, I completely forgot about something. I can't believe this is. What kind of what kind of bootlegger am I if I'm not going to actually sell my products? I'm transport transporting it, uh, you know, halfway across the country, but I didn't actually sell it. That's terrible. That's all risk, no reward. <laughs> so, but I th I know what we're going to do. We're going to go into the belly of the beast. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to sell, we're going to sell uh, product right under Unigost's nose. Right? Run it right under the nose of the law. He's not going to know any. Yeah, he's, that's right. <laughs> we're going to be bad people. Well, not really. He, Unigost is the bad people. I think defying Unigost is essentially, you know, that's that's actually just that's just good behavior. <laughs> oh boy! All right, I'll meet you back in. Uh, I'll meet you back in uh, Gustovia. All right, uh, welcome back. So we're gonna now. Okay, <clears throat> there's Unigost. He's 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 he's. You saw him there just a second ago. Hang on, that's just. Oh no no! I didn't want to actually have you do that. There he is over there. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Adelina, Adelina here. Got some for you here. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's it. Thanks, Adelina. <laughs> we could have sold them to Yarrow, but that's a little too on the nose. Uh, she is the local tavern keeper. So I'm pretty sure that uh, uh, Adelina, nobody's going to suspect the seed lady. 
right? Because she's like innocent and just very kind and she's a good person. And so nobody would suspect the seed lady. So, all right, I'm going to do a few things here. I'm just going to sell uh, the rest of my stuff, uh, you know, the feathers and the linen thread, which I can't really do, but we're getting some money back. That's fine. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to call it here. So thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, you all have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.